Hey, welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. I'm Larry the Pen Thug Guy, and welcome to my channel, Larry's Fountain Pen. Remember the name, Larry's Fountain Pen. Ah, but anyway, journal time. Are you ready? Notebooks, journals, papers, all that cool stuff. Because there's so many journals out there and notebooks of different varieties. Well, a friend of mine, I want to say thank you to Frank Overman. He picked me up this exceed notebook correct mr announcer yes and i just got this a, a few days ago uh i believe he picked this up at walmart now he was telling me that uh this is the loon the new uh, line of notebook the one with the uh, bigger lettering i think he said uh this size of uh lettering on the name uh is the newer more updated uh, notebook that has the better grade of paper in it that's fountain pen friendly. So, what do you say? Let's open this jewel up and give it a whirl. I have been dying to get into this notebook. And I believe today is the day that we do this. All right. I love notebooks. All right. And this is the 100 GSM's heavy weight paper. And it has a two-page marker. And of course, the plastic band to uh, help keep the book closed. What's on the back? 96 sheets, okay? And this is the dotted notebook uh, expandable inner pocket. So let's take this off, open her up, and we'll take this off. Lay this aside. Let's go to the very, very back. And here is that expendable uh, pocket back here. You can keep all your uh, notes back here, whatever you like. So that always comes in pretty handy. Let's go to the front of the book now without further ado and see what's on the front. Well, you got a page here for your name and whatever you want to designate this page for. And here is the dot paper. Looks interesting. So, and again, remember, now this book stays pretty uh, flat, but to get this pages to, to go down more, remember what you need. Well, what I do is I fold the pages out so it'll get a better... Uh, flat position when I put the notebook down. So like when it's like that and if you don't want it like that how I do it is just I just do a few pages at a time and I go through the whole notebook and make sure that it's all nice, smooth down, and that way it'll help it lay down much flatter. So, for now, let's go ahead and uh, check out the notebook. What do you say? All right. Let me look at the back for a minute. I was wondering if there was any perforated uh, papers here, but I don't see any. Okay. Right. So. All right. Let me give it the first test with some, my first pin. Noodlers Ahab.
and the ink I'm using is Noodler's. Eel Blue. And then we'll bring out the Parker. And the ink. Monteverde Olivine, all right. All right, folks. Now, let me get in my bag and uh, well, where are my pens at? Here they are. We'll get a few more pins out here real quick and we'll do the Visconti. Ragtime. With a medium steel nib. And the ink is Levenger. Forest. This pen really is a nice nib on this pen. Nice, smooth, wet nib. And here's the Omos Paragon. With an 18K medium nib. And then the ink is So, let's see how these four pens and ink, how they did on the new Exceed notebook. Do you see no bleed-throughs? No show-throughs, really. You can see a little bit, but not a, not a whole lot. I mean, this notebook, in my opinion, worked very well with the inks. So... Well, that's one. Now, let's try some different. Here is a marker. And I forgot. Oh, Tom. Oh, okay. Got the. Uh, Alright, and then here is an Office Depot permanent marker. And that's really laying it on right there. And let's just do a this is a uniball. Let's see how this handles it. Well, the marker went right through it. Now, that's the only thing that went through it. The uh, There were two markers used. The one from Office Depot, the permanent marker. This one went right through it. But the previous one, I first did it, the Tombow marker it'll handle that really well so let's do one more thing here this is the rhodia paper and this is the marker again 
and let's see how it handles this and it bled through the other side on the rhodium paper so does this mean this is bad paper no by no means this is good paper it really feels nice now let me do a, a little bit of writing I'm in that mood So there it is. The only bleed through on this notebook was the Office Depot permanent marker right here. And it handled everything else just fine. And the Visconti Rack Time, a super smooth wet nib, it handled it just fine. And it handled the Paragon as well. I'll lay down some, some heavy wet nibs and this paper did a great job. Uh, so all in all, I give it a thumbs up. It's a great notebook. I love the feel of the paper. Uh, they did a great job. So uh, thank you to Frank Overman for uh, getting me this notebook. And... Uh, you know, it's well worth the money. It's affordable. Uh, this is uh, not a hardback. I think they do might. They might carry hardback. This is the soft cover. Uh, so, more to come. Thank you for joining me on Larry's Fountain Pen with the new Exceed Journal. Peace. Don't text and drive, my friends.